Jesus in with the iguana. <coughs> Who put Jesus in with Michael Owen? How often have I seen that arrangement of hands? Clive, the real Jesus loves all living creatures. The pottery ones poison them. <gasps> right, hands together, eyes closed. Your mums and dads are starting to come in. Gentle. Gentle Jesus, meek and mild, look upon the little without looking so as I can show me dad. What's her name? Jesus. Oh, but she can't be Jesus. There's already a Jesus. Debbie Bennett is Mary and she's already Mr. got Jesus. A... But Debbie Bennett? Say hello, Jesus. Debbie Bennett? Say hello, Jesus. Hello, Jesus. Get off. Get off. No. You've got to have your hair straight. Get off. Joseph wouldn't have had a tatty head. Mary would have said she would have told him, I'm going to have baby Jesus in a minute. You've got a tatty head. My mum's just had a baby and my dad's got a tatty head. But it's not Jesus, is it? No, it's Colin. Well, Jesus is more special than Colin. <laughs> This is Voyager 12. Everyone's dead over. Everyone on here is dead over. Is Gabriel an angel? No, it's not an angel. It's the number one angel. Gabriel, it's the boss of all the angels he was. It's the very, very... Let's not talk to Dawn, Shamima. Monster! Monster! Monster on here, what opens his mouth and all his teeth shoot out? We're losing radio contact. Yeah, it does work, doesn't it? Do we get one of these? can't. The wise men don't have them. We give Jesus present. What? We give Jesus present. Same. Hello, Bobby. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. I can see you. I can see you. What are you doing, Errol Chiverton? Mrs. Humphreys, it was What have Clyde. I told you it about... It wasn't me, Clyde. Uh, uh, um, I was looking for my mum and dad. Do you want what to... have I told you about playing near the curtain? Don't. You shouldn't. You should not. You should not not go. Oh, just get in the classroom. Mrs. Humphreys, 
My dad says that if at the end we all have to carry flags to the children of the world, can ours not be from France, please? Get in there! Get in there! In the fields around Bethlehem, there were some shepherds who were looking looking after their sheep and the angel came down to the shepherds who were uh, who had built a fire and were sore they they had sores I'm afraid right now you don't pull him off reins you don't pull him off reins otherwise he's clocked and Miss Humphrey said he's not allowed to clock otherwise you get clocked he's not a proper donkey he's a proper donkey you're not a proper donkey. You've just got a donkey's head. I'm a proper donkey. Chuck him in the bog. I'm a donkey. He's Joseph too old. Chuck him in the bog. Go on. There's you. It's called Pedro. It's from Spain. I've been to Spain. Oh. I've been to Spain. And I have. We always go. We go at weekends. You can't go to Spain for weekends. You can. You can't. You can, but it's a special bit of Spain. Where? Morgan. Zoe, can I sit with you in Bethlehem? I'm not friends with Jay anymore. No. And anyway, none of it really happened. My dad's got a farm, and he said they would never have had oxes and asses in the same stall, cos they have different bone meal. Me and Debbie Benner. Well, you are. I know. Now then, the wise man says, Have you had a baby? And you say, Yes. And he says, What's his name? Certain. And you say, Jesus. Don't wonder who and, I. But Warren, you've not come today. You've not Don't come wonder. today. And you've not. He's not got his crook. He's not got his crook. No, has to find it. Honestly, be the death of me. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Peter. You touched Warren. You touched Warren in your chicken box last week. Joseph's crook. And they're in your arm, they're going up your arm into your head now. Joseph's crook, where is it now? And you're sick, and you won't be Mary. You're not going to be Mary. She's not going to be Mary. No. I am. You are. Mm. Mm. Is. Isn't. Is. Isn't. Zoe, you know when they have mince pies? When you leave mince pies for Father Christmas, just... Louise, is it Father Christmas or the reindeer? Me dad, the cinema, in the lounge, all six, and the sherry. That one's mine. Who's him in the middle, that one? John Virgin. Who? John Virgin. He was there with Mary and Joseph, it says. Was he the one who dropped the baby off? You don't drop babies off. I saw one come on my dad's farm once. Comes out your bum covered in yak. Do you still want to be Mary? Da, 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 da. Welcome to Question of Sport. John Parrott, pick a number. Ooh, now let's see. Yeah. Number nine. Number nine. Now, John, who's that? How the hell do I know? He's got a hat on. <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh. We think Tiger Woods. Yes, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Chap, chap, chap. Ha, ha, ha. Clap, clap. You're sitting on Ali McCoy's. So, what else is it like when a baby comes? What happens when this other thing comes out called a placenta? And that's like a pancake of blood. And that lands on the floor. Dogs lick it. Your dad kicks and goes, gone fly, bugger off. Also, you moo a lot. Do you still want to be... Yes! Why don't you ask Miss Humphreys to let you be Mary? Cos 
she said one of my sisters was Mary last year. But that's not fair, because I've got tons of sisters. But they're not proper sisters, they're not real sisters. But dads aren't even the same. Oh. And you have to be pretty, it's in the book. Mary didn't look like Debbie Benner. She looked like me. I'm going to be Mary. See what I've got for Jesus. What? Wow. Solid. Gold. All gold. Can I have... Uh, what have you got? What is it? Frankincense. What? Frankincense. Frankincense? Yes. Could you... Chidi, do you want to swap presents? Presents? <laughs> oh, I'll, uh, I'll give you my aircraft carrier or 20 pence. <laughs> pence? You don't speak proper. Is there something wrong with your mouth? Ask him to say what that is. Say what it is. There's you. You sound like him in Donkey Head. You sound like one of the special unit kids. There's you. Are you one of the special unit kids? Get lost! Just get lost! How come? Your dad can't be Santa Claus, cos if he was, he wouldn't be Christian Jeremy's, you'd be Christian Claus. Hey, 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 you know what, you know what? I've got something you haven't. See, look, see, it's gone loose when I fell over, and, and that means it'll come out and you get money. No, it's still stuck in. Caesar Augustus made a degree that Mary and Joseph had to go home and pay their taxes. Taxis? What? Thought they went on a donkey. Ah! Hey, oh, out of the way, everybody. Come out of the way. Oh, what on what is earth? It? What's he done, Mrs. Um what was all that racket? Racket. Come on, Clyde Cuttle. What on earth were you doing? What on earth? Just talking. Ask him what this is. Come on. Say it like a eunuch. Oh, who? But don't touch your hat. Don't touch your hat. Honestly, you'll be the death of me. You will. You'll be... What are you doing? Get off me dress. You get money for that one. Uh, Debbie. Debbie J says you got to use this Jesus. That's not Jesus. She says it's not Jesus. That is Jesus. Miss Humphrey. Give it a... You've got a Jesus, haven't we? Give it Jesus, will ya? You get money for that one. Look, well, there he is. Come on. Come on, then, Jesus. Oh, Jesus didn't look like that. Jesus didn't have a stupid face like that. But that's Jesus. Look, he looked like him and she looked like me. Oh. He wasn't bald. He had hair and a proper face, didn't he, Shamima? Oh. Done. Yeah? Let's not talk to Shamima. Iguanas go past, they think, oh, that's a stick down there. I don't want to eat Pick it. up the iguana. Where my Uncle Ted lives in Florida, they are stick insects. Pick down. up Michael Owen. In Florida, where the rockets go up off. He's coming for Christmas tomorrow in a Virgin 747. <laughs> if they're that big, they could eat the iguanas. Pick it up. There's you. Right, John, who is that? 
Oh, now all done. That's it. Uh... Oh, I know it. Cap, cap, cap. David Beckham. No. Stephen Hendry. Get Jesus' hat on. Is this Jesus? Get the hat on. What happened to Debbie's Jesus? He's not here anymore. Oh. Have you told Debbie? Debbie's not here anymore. Do you want to play pretend? All right, let's pretend. You say, I'm going to work. I'm going to the workshop. Get me some breakfast. I can't go to work without any breakfast in me, can I? And get me white sandwiches. Right, you've said that. Right, then you've been to work and you come home and I say, um, Rand's been fighting with those Indian kids in quick save again. And you say, I hate Mr. Paul Banner. Coon. And then you go to bed. Oh, that could be your bedroom. You can't go to sleep in there. My dad doesn't sleep in the bedroom. He used to sleep in the bedroom. Then he slept on the settee. Now he doesn't sleep at our house at all. He's coming tonight, though. I'm knowing my words to show him. You shouldn't have let him go. He jumped out. I had him in my hand, but he jumped out. Oh, he's got in the store cupboard. He can't. He's not allowed to go in there. It's Mrs. Humphrey's secret place, in there. There's you. Right. Angel Gabriel. Dawn. Oh. And Mary and Joseph? Hey, Joseph. Oh. Hey, Joseph. Where's Joseph. Mary? Where's Debbie Bennett? Debbie Bennett. Debbie Bennett. Clive Cuttle. Ah, uh, some fish. Do you want another Mary? Mrs. Humphrey. Debbie Bennett, you're soaking. I lost me of peace. And Jay said she'd saw it blowing across the playground. And it was all knocked. And I'd get done. Oh, I just found it again. Line, we're starting. God help us. Right, nicely and quietly up to the stage. Here we go. Big smiles. I'm still going to be Mary. Uh, could somebody come in room, please? Quickly! Flint Street Nativity. Once upon a time in Judea, there was a town called Nazareth where Mary and Joseph lived. Joseph was a carpenter. One day, Joseph went off to work. And Mary was on her own at home. The bloody mess around here. Bloody fagging. Just like a tart. You want me to dress like a bloody tart? Suddenly, there was a beautiful light which filled the room. Hey. What? I bring wonderful news, a great joy. Do you know? You're going to have a baby and it's God's and it's going to be called Jesus. I know that. And it's going to have blonde hair. You're in love with Debbie, aren't you? You want to marry her, don't you? Oh, God. Do you want her to marry you? You want to make your head nice. If someone wants to marry someone, you've got to make your head better than that. Bog off.
Ding, ding. North Pier, North Pier, hey, North Pier. Ding, ding. Who else? When you get married in the Well, you have a big party in the scout hut, and everyone smokes cigarettes. What else happens? Mum cries because she wanted a big tent. But everyone stopped eating beef burgers, so we can't afford it, and the government assaults. Uh, about the hair and that. You know. She what? won't marry if you've got a tatty head. Because someone else will look posher than you, and that's just it. She just won't. That's my recipe. Laura's not allowed to call. I can't speak to you. She's Jehovah's Witness. She can't do a Christmas or assembly. I won't tell you or anything. Is your mum coming? We can talk. And then tell Jay that we didn't. My mum's coming. But she doesn't see much because she has to sit with her back to Mrs. Forbanny because of Mrs. Forbanny being... of her being... Of the coon. Is yours coming? Why not? She does all the things, my mum. Does she? Yeah. My mum. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> You said do it. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your crawl. <coughs> Caesar Augustus made a decree that everyone had to go home and pay their taxes. So Mary and Joseph had to start out on a long journey. How far is it to Bethlehem? A long way, Mary, but you can ride on the little donkey. <laughs> little donkey, little donkey, on the dusty road. Going on, plodding onwards with your precious love. Ring the bells? Wasn't he Mrs. Humphreys? He was supposed to ring the bell then, yes, wasn't he? Yes, yes, he was. In that home corner, and you do not move, or you go in front of the stage. You are on your last warning, Christian Jerome's. Didn't know. I didn't know it was going to come off, did I? I hate this class. Only because you can't put your arm round Debbie Bennett. What do you know? You don't know nothing. Your dad's just a farmer. Well, I know Debbie don't love people with tatty heads sticking up. Because I heard her saying to Warren. Is his dad really Santa Claus? That's what they said. My dad's just an electrician. That's all right. Jesus' dad was only a car painter. Mr. Forbanny sells cars. His brothers are always scrapping with my brothers. Why? Because they're from India. And mine are from Pakistan. Doesn't your dad get mad with them? He tells them to. He hates Mr. Forbanny. He says Mr. Forbanny was just showing off at Easter. Why? When his packer 
was in Joseph's amazing dream coat. And Mr. Fobani made him that magic coat with tons of car paints from his garage. My dad said he was just showing off. Were you talking to her? Right. Come on, Shamima. We're not talking to Dawn, are we? Mary and Joseph arrive at Bethlehem. They went to an inn. Have you a room? No. We have no room. So they went to try at another inn. We are very tired, and my wife is having a baby. Is there any room? Oh, no, a room. Let me see. Hmm. Uh, let me see. Room, room. No, David Beckham's in that one. Ian Rotherham! No. Glowing. Monster Munch. You'll get done now. You will. Unless you go in there and get him. So this is all for a secret place in there. Dares you. Christian! Christian, it's you! It's you next! Innkeeper! Christian Jones, quickly! Mary and Joseph walked all round Bethlehem. They had almost given up hope. Until at last they came to an inn at the very edge of the town. Inside there was a friendly innkeeper. very tired and having a baby. Is there any room at the inn? tired and having a baby. Is there any room at the inn? You can come in, but he can bugger off. Shepherds, sheep! Torch? Get the sheep. Shepherds, fire us! Where's the torch from the fire? 
I've been in places darker than that. Yes. In the NASA space center, Uncle Ted says rooms blacker than that. Give us the torch. I'm looking for Michael Owen. Torch, we need it for the fire. Give it to us. Smoked away. He does that. Then he does that. And then... Shepherds! Shepherds! What are you doing in Shepherd's line? Hmm? What are you doing in Shepherd's line? When we go to see Aladdin, do you want to sit with me on the bus? Good these heads, isn't they? I'm keeping mine on forever. It's better than me head. There, uh, that night, in the cold, bare stable, Mary had her baby. Moo. Bloody hell, Miss Humphreys, it's hot in here. All right. All right. All right. OK, Ali McCoy, who is this? Gentle Jesus, meek and mild, look upon a little child, but don't look on Debbie Bennett and please give a Joseph's pox on them. You have to do exactly what I do, right? Miss Humphreys said you've got to go to Yellow Cross and then put your sheep back. That's a nice sheep, that one is. I like that sheep. It's a nice one. It's not a sheep. It's an Australian ram. Sure, long more ram. Oh, I like them. They're the best sheep rams. Do you like them best? Oh, what's that one? Pillowcases. Oh, I love them. I like pillowcases. I've got you standing with shepherds for guns. Damn with wise men. I've got one that looks like a dog. Not. Not. Not out of the unit, Mum. Not one of the unit kids. Kid. Kid. In the fields around Bethlehem were some shepherds with their sheep. It was night time and the shepherds watching their flocks were sitting around a fire they had lit. Suddenly there was a very bright light and a host of angels appeared in the sky above them. Today Jesus is born in Bethlehem, he's the Lord, you'll find him lying in a manger. Smith in a 25 yard box, it's yeah! Holy! Oh, caught it in the stomach! And well, that looked painful, Jimmy. I've been in darker places than that. Chicken. I've been darker places. <laughs> In Florida. I want the toilet. being friends because it because she has a go on. I don't want it. Don't want it. Wow. <laughs> and it's only for me dad. To stupid show off back to Mr. Paul Baby. Why is
Oh, and see for themselves what the angels had spoken about. The shepherds came down from the hills and joined the ass who was standing peacefully and quietly in the stable. An angel. An angel. An angel told us there was a baby in this barn. Is it true? Yes. His name is Jesus. Look. Jesus' heads fell off. Michael Owen. Did there, did Zoom freeze. No hands. Franken. Franken. <laughs> Don't worry, love. We've still got to change your pants from last time. Down we go. He must have walked like a tightrope. You'll have to get him down. You scared him up there out of the cupboard. Go on. Knock him off. There's it. He'll drop off, so catch him. Hit it then. Harder. Harder. I can't do that again, it's broke. No. You'll have to climb up and get in. There's you. What happened? He peed his leg, but it's all right, I mopped it up with the sheep. Wise men! The shepherds. An astronaut would do it. Hey, I can't find Adrian. They had nothing to give except the tiny new bullet. Selling. That's junior apparatus, that's too big for us. What are you doing? I'm not coming to school tomorrow. I wet down my leg, everyone saw. I went on the drum, everyone heard. And I've got a Veruca, so I have to wear this on my foot. If you stay up there, then you... then... it's dangerous, you, you'll die. My grand died. Was she still an apprentice? No, she was old. My mum said it was because she was old. But I don't think it was, because I looked inside a cardigan once and she was only 38 to 40. I didn't. You did. You must have been some presents. And they were gone and probably killed himself and run away. And it'll all be your fault. Mom. Let's go. Tell me some of this. Let's go. You have to. I don't want to, do I? You don't dare. 
Don't you want to be in it? I'm not going to say what I brought because they think I speak like out of a special unit. I don't want to be in a special unit. My brother was in the special unit. I've not got to be. I'm in the unit. I can't be, Mum said. You can't go home if you're dead. You can't go home. You have to go to Jesus in heaven. Hell. Heswell. And, and your mum cries if you go to Heswell. So your mum cry? When my dad goes on the oil rig, she cries. In the kitchen by the cooker. But you shouldn't make people cry, because it doesn't... Because they cut themselves. But if you don't come to school, she'll cry. Probably will, then. Probably will. Shall we just say he went for a walk? Come on, Michael. Where's the other wise man? Where's Adrian? Well, where is he? Come on, I told you we need to stay together. Why don't you ever I'm do here. what you're told? At this time there were three wise men. One night in the skies they saw a star. Star? Oh, oh, it's not me. It's not. A live cattle, get behind that curtain! I thought, I thought it was me when he said star, but it's not. I, I, th I thought that. Florida. We're going to tell Adrian. No, he's not. A pity. It's what he said about your mouth. Adrian, you know your frankincense. Okay. If you give us your aircraft carrier and 20p, okay, I'll swap you. My Uncle Ted. My Uncle Ted from Florida. He's there. He's come early. Christian Jarrams wants to marry you, and I said he'd have to do his hair and not look tatty and not be fat, but he's fat. He's fat enough to be round John Burgeon. Who's John Burgeon? He's one who... <coughs> That's for Colin! That's vomit. The ruler of Just the, the aircraft carrier, then. OK? Just the aircraft carrier. What are you going to do? His name was Herod. Hey, Jane. The palace of Herod was very big and full of gold and jewels. The wise men thought that the star had stopped. Stopped there. The... Stopped there. Have you had a baby, son? Ooh, uh, let me see. No. We are looking for a new baby king. Ha! <laughs> Herod was very, very cross. He was very angry that there was a new king. He made them promise to tell him where the new king was. Then Herod went to his throne and thought about what the wise men had said. He's in trouble now, Des.
me to the living room, please? Quickly! This is my bloody house and you do what I say in my bloody house, you bloody piss artist. These are your bloody kids, Arthur. These not mine. Jay, can Debbie have some of your father alive? She's had a bit of sick come up. Pox! Quick! Quick, Janina! What we could do is... What we could do... If you switch your wings on and Jay stops talking to you because yours are better than hers... Yeah. <laughs> well, we could always talk to each other and not to her instead. Right, that's it. I'm Mary. Get on! Don't give us Jesus! Give us 20p. Give us 20p and a swap presents. Mr. Chess, get it on! Give us Don't! Get it on! Oh, right, that's it. I've got me own. Okay. 10p. I'll do it for 10p. Give us your headdress. Get off! Oh, too late. You've got pox and dog. Get us Jesus! That's my old hotel. Foam for bread. Foam for bread. What? <laughs> Jay, me and Shamima have decided to be friends and we're not talking to you. Is that all right? The shepherd. Wise men went on for many days following the star until it stopped in the sky over a stable. They knocked on the... They knocked on the stable door. Oh, come in. We have followed the star to this stable. Have you just had a baby boy? Yes. What is his name? Colin. You stay there, Jay Dackers. You stay there, Jay Dackers. You stay there. Clive, can't you just put that space shuttle down? My uncle, Ted. Hey, my dad drinks that. Clive, get the flags of the world. Flags of the world. Errol, get back on stage. Back on stage. We have brought gifts for him. Thank you. I bring him gold. And I bring him myrrh. Uh... And I bring him more myrrh. in Florida. Mm, my Uncle Ted got me all along. No, my Uncle Ted. And everybody came from. And over the years, children from all over the world came to worship the baby. Come on, Ted. 
him. That's my mom. That's my social worker. Go on. Take him on. It was a time of great... joy. And that night... There was... There was a sign of peace and happiness in the world for everyone, everywhere. The beautiful star of Bethlehem. Houston, this is Houston to Uncle Ted, over. Clive Cuttle, get that suit back on the science table. Monster on the back wall, over. There's Michael Owen. Night! Oh! 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 No one's hurt. No one's hurt. Everyone's fine. So if mums and dads... Lights. Lights. Yes, thank you very much. Mums and dads would like to hang on. There's um, mince pies and mulled wine at the back of the hall. Not exactly mulled, is it? Shut up. Just hot. Just hot wine. Shut up. Another one. Let's... Supposed to have spices in it, isn't it? Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. A bag of Christmas spice. We had quite a big hoo-ha at the PTA about which exact... You know, the, the actual, which actual... Malt wine? No, 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 thank you. So we'll have all his first on the one tape, first school production. Before this on the tapes, his first day at school, going back to his steps and even his birth. His the bed? On this tape, huh. yeah. At home, which is really beautiful with all the candles and music. You do candles and music at the bed? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, God, what did you have at the conception? Three doctors standing around in a strip light. <laughs> A bit of cinnamon and Christmas spice. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> I knew this would happen. No, it's not a problem. Oh, we're in good. Oh, the evening gazette. Oh, no, no, no. They're applauding the fact that we took eight underprivileged kids to see Santa in Lapland. They just want to know why eight councillors accompanied them. I'll do it. And stayed at the Radisson the International, International Hotel, Hotel in Helsinki. And I said it was to forge trade links between the two towns. Oh, trade links? Well, that's good. That's good, because I tell you, people around here are just crying out for seal blubber. John, you can't... Blubber, do... blubber. Where the hell are we going to get more blubber? They walk around shouting. John, Wasn't we... it a wonderful nativity? Oh, wasn't wonderful, it? wasn't it? Yes, lovely. So beautiful when you see the little ones, isn't it? Yes. Mm. Just, you know, the eyes. Puts it all into perspective. <laughs> Have you got some of Mrs. Forbanny's there? Uh, I... Oh, no. Try these. Try my ones. One sachet of spice in this much red wine is like chucking a tea bag in Lake Titicaca and hoping you're going to end up with, like, um... tea. Well, don't bloody drink it, then. Florida. Uh, yeah, um, Space Centre, Disneyland, all that. Oh, God, mm. that's nice for him. Mm. Mind if any got relatives in Walsall and Birkenhead. Um, well, his uncle's not technically a, a relative, it's just, um, a college friend of my wife's. Oh, right. What? An old flame. Oh, them I got. I got them. I got enough of them to start a bush fire. Little pastry holly leaf you'll find in the nicer ones. Those other, um, Mrs. Forbanny's little sources of lard. Yours was... My son was the wise man with the... He was supposed to say frankincense. Oh, aye. Uh, isn't his brother in the special unit with our Andrew? Yeah, the lad in the donkey head. His brother's actually dyslexic, actually, we think now. It's a chemical thing. 
in this, you see, uh, digitally, it flashes. And uh, honestly, I measured it once. I put it down, and I walked three quarters of a mile down the road. What happened? Uh, well, ironically, someone nicked it, actually. But uh, I could see him. I could see him nicking it. So that was the... Oh, Sandra. Oh, hello. <laughs> someone got lucky. What's this, you bingo? Oh, Dawn, I tell you. Got lucky. <laughs> Talk about the season of goodwill. <laughs> I could have had a deep fat fryer, but I thought, well, you can't, can you? Christmas. It's time for kiddies, isn't it? <laughs> How are the shepherds? It's a flashing Malt light. Malt wine. Thing. One for Zoe's dad. Is your husband here? No, he's, um... Oh, yes, be out tending his sheep, feeding his cattle. Driving a taxi. Just for the Christmas presents, you know. Is Debbie's dad here? Oh, no, no, no. He's with his tart in Cheltenham. Another business meeting, but actually with his... Oh, look! This one's got the spice sachet in. Let me just, uh... I'll have it. Oh, Merry Christmas! Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Ooh. Hello? Um, are you anything to do with the... The PTA? Yes. The Nativity? Oh, yes. I'm... Could you just tell the narrator, the little lad that was the narrator... Tim. ...that his dad... I, I couldn't come in, but I saw it all from the back. Just let him know that I saw it all, uh, and that I was there. And I'll see him on Boxing Day. Boxing Day? Okie dokie. And I'm his dad. Dad, Boxing Day. Okie dokie. And he was... Uh, it was great. <laughs> Just let him know he was, he was really, really great. Great Dad, Boxing Day. Okay. Thanks. The enjoyment of wine has got nothing to do with class. You're ashamed of being a publican. You always were. Oh, shut up, you witch. Wasn't he? Lovely nativity. Shame about the end, did oh, all the... Well, that, that's, that's Clive, you see. Always excited to see his... Uh... But it does. It changes everything seeing kids do it. All the story and meaning. Really brings it home. Really brings it home. It really changes the way you... Have one of these mince pies. Between you and me, those are the ones that crap. Look at the nativity in Bethlehem Year Zero, next.